Hey everybody, welcome to Hockey Skate Down. Before we get into the video, I just want to say thank you to all my subscribers. If you want to join our hockey team, it's free. Click subscribe, hit the notification bell to all. Thank you all so much, and let's get started. I figured I'd do a video on this. You know, there's been another interesting name being linked to the New Jersey Devils um, in Riley Smith. So I figured, let me do a video on it. You know, there's not a lot of NHL news going around now. We're still in the offseason. We still have a while to go before, you know, big news is going to break. But, you know, there is still some names out there that can be signed and traded. So... I figured this would be an interesting video to do, as I've always liked Riley Smith's game. Um, there's still the rumors of Tarasenko floating around with the Devils, uh, and amongst other teams as well. So I figured I'd do a video on this. I I've always liked Riley Smith. Um, you know, seeing where the Vegas Golden Knights stand with their cap space, where they don't have any cap space at all, and they still want to make some moves to improve their roster, they may, li they may look to trade certain players. And two players that I always liked on their team is Riley Smith and Jonathan Marchessault. So I want to talk about them in this video as they're currently making the same amount of money, um, same age and everything. So I figured this would be an interesting time for the Knights to shed some cap space and probably get some assets for them. So, um, you know, I'll talk about Tarasenko, I'll talk about Riley Smith, and talk about Marchessault in this video and the teams that are being linked to them. So please stay with me throughout. So this all came about after the Thomas Tassar signing, which I love. I've done my video on it. I'll link it at the end. Um, I thought the Devils would be honestly be done, but, um, you know, you hear these names still surfacing and, you know, maybe Fitzgerald doesn't see other players, uh, ready enough to play. Maybe you want to give them a little bit more time to grow and mature their game. So maybe they, they're looking for another forward with not a lot of term. That's the way I, I look at it. And, you know, bring in some players that can help really push this team over the top to get to the playoffs. So, um, you know, it's interesting. You know, uh, Riley Smith doesn't have a lot of term left. If you're looking at March, so he has a bit more term. But, um, you know, even Tarasenko only, only has two years. So um, these are players that can help the team get better now while you're still having your, your forward prospects that are really good, grow and mature their game, maybe playing for the Comets or something. So, um, you know, I thought it would be very interesting. So um, the Devils, Rangers, and Islanders are still all in the running for St. Louis Blues forward Vladimir Tarasenko. Now, these Tarasenko rumors, I'm tired of doing videos on. I've done like three videos already, but, you know, this came out after the Tatar signing. So maybe something else is progressing behind the scenes where maybe something may happen this week or something. So, um, you know, the Islanders, very interesting. They recently signed Pelic. They still got a lot of cap space. Um, Johnny Boychek will be placed on LTIR to create more cap room that way. Um, they still have a lot of players to sign. And what's going on with Palmieri and Parisi? You know, there's still heavy rumors saying that they've been they have a, a agreement in principle but nothing's been official yet so it's just very odd but um you know they have uh things to do with Bovillier he needs a new deal and Sorokin needs a new deal still so curious to see what the Islanders do how they're going to round out their roster what they're going to add and are these names really going to be signed by the Islanders so um you know, and then you hear the Tarasenko rumors and um you know I know they want to add another offensive punch to really uh help them out this year, you know, help them score a bit more goals and really help as they, you know, they're, they're most likely going to be one of those teams that make the playoffs again because they got a really good team. So maybe they want that extra punch in the playoffs. So they're going to probably bring in Tarasenko. We'll see. But the Islanders are very interesting. They can definitely add, um, you know, Tarasenko if that's the case. Uh, the Rangers in my last video, I said maybe out of this, but then you, you see the whole thing where you know, Tarasenko and Panarin are buddies. Maybe they want to play on the same team. Maybe the whole lure of New York is something that Tarasenko might want. Um, the Rangers and the Islanders are currently on his trade list where he would go there. So, you know, I'm never going to count the Rangers out of any trade. You know, back in the day, every player that was named to the Rangers went to the Rangers. So, um, you never know. But, you know, the, the Rangers, I think, are pretty good at wing. But they can also add another winger in this case. So... Always got to consider them whenever they're mentioned in a trade. But the Devils, you know, make a lot of sense. They need another winger. Um, you know, they do have players that can, you know, shine in the in the training camp or whatever, and they can take a spot. But, you know, this may be something that, you know, the Devils can necessarily add where it'll really create a, a playoff position for them where they could really contend for a playoff spot if they add Tarasenko. So they have the cap room even after the Tatar signing. So... Keep an eye out on these three teams as they're being heavily rumored. I'm going to throw the Kraken in there as well because I, I did mention in my last video that the Kraken would be um, looking for him as well. But we'll see what happens with uh, Tarasenko as this is probably going to take a little bit longer 
to see where he goes. But I'm curious to see where he's going to go and what the return will be for him. As I think a lot of teams may think the price may still be too high. We'll see. So, um, you know, then after that, I saw that the Penguins, the Devils, and the Sabres have been linked to Vegas. Golden Knights forward Riley Smith. Now, I've always loved Riley Smith's game. He's definitely one of those players that is it can play up and down the lineup. He's a versatile winger. He can play the left side. He can play the right side. He puts up those 20, 25 goals, those 40 to 60 points, and he's always a consistent player, and especially in the playoffs. He's a playoff performer. So any team looking to add that type of player, you know, should go for it. And I think Vegas may do that. They're up against the cap. They have zero cap space. They're currently at $81.5 million. So they may want to do some more moves around at their roster where they have to create some cap room. And he may be one of those players with only this year left, this upcoming year left on his contract that they can move him for an asset and clear our cap space. So, um, you know, Riley Smith is 30 years old. Uh, his current deal is for $5 million, uh, AAV. He's 6'1", 183 pounds. Um, left-handed shot. He can play the left or the right side. Uh, this this past year, he put up. He played in 53 games, uh, 14 goals, 11 assists, 25 points. In 2019, 2020, he played in 71 games, 27 goals, 27 assists, 54 points. And in 2018, 2019, he played in 74 games, 19 goals, 34 assists, 53 points. So, and in 84 playoff games, he put up 65 goal, 65 points. And um, he's a UFA after this upcoming year. So, um, you know, we'll see what happens with this. I, I think Riley Smith is a phenomenal player. He can play up and down anybody's lineup and be that consistent forward, consistent, reliable forward, I got to say, that um, any team could be looking to add. So, um, you know, this made a lot of sense with the Devils. You know, he can play in that second line spot and push one of those players down, one of those quoken in players down to the third line. So we'll see what happens. But, um, you know, Riley Smith can add a lot to any team. It'd be very interesting to see what happens. And the other player I want to mention is Jonathan Marcheseau. You know, Jonathan Marcheseau is 30 years old. He currently has $5 million on his current deal, 5'9", 180 pounds, and he's a right-handed shot. So this is very intriguing for the, for the Devils. They don't have a lot of right-shot players on their team right now. Um, if you're looking at their current roster or people who have played this year, um, the only ones there are McLeod and Thompson, who are right-handed shots. So everybody else is a left-handed shot. Um, I know you have Holtz and Mercer and Clark in the system who are right-handed shots, but, you know, I don't know if they're going to play this year, next year, whenever, but um, we don't have a lot of right-handed shots, so I think March or so could add something that we desperately need, especially on those top two lines. You want a right-handed shot to go on that right side. So, um, you know, he's very interesting. Kind of along the same level of production that Riley Smith has, that 20-25 goal score, that 40-60 to 60 point guy in the middle of there. So, um you know, they're both the same age, 30 years old. Uh, they both make, they both have uh, $5 million cap hits. But Marcheseau has a little bit more term as he's got two more additional years with on his deal than um, Riley Smith. So looking at Marcheseau's stats in 2021, he played in 55 games, 18 goals, 26 assists, 44 points. In 2019, 2020, 66 games played, 22 goals, 25 assists, 47 points. And in 2018, 2019, he played in 82 games, 25 goals, 34 assists, 59 points. So him too, he played in uh, 73 games, the playoffs, 47 points. So both of these players are playoff performers. They play really well in the playoffs and could be a good add for any team. So um, if the Vegas Golden Knights are looking to move any one of these players, I'm sure the Devils will show some interest in them if, they, if the Devils are looking to add another forward. I don't know if they want to keep some spots open to see if anybody can grab their uh, grab one of those spots left open if they have a hot uh, training camp or, you know, one of those rookies that can grab a spot. We'll see what happens as, um, you know, Devils are a young team. You're always going to have those young guys pushing for some position. So we'll see what happens. But if the Devils are looking to go the trade route, these are three. I'm going to say three because you always got to consider Tarasenko is still there, um, Smith, and if March Show's name becomes available, we'll see as his name did become available last trade deadline so comment below who do you think uh who would you want to add if these three names are available which two of them might be so comment below and let me know what you think thank you all for watching i really appreciate it smash that like button if you haven't done so subscribe to the hockey skate down join our hockey team thank you all so much have a great rest of the night have a great day tomorrow take it easy stay safe